Negative reinforcement is largely misunderstood by many people and even scientists themselves often write incorrectly about negative reinforcement. The definition of it is the removal of something aversive, something that the horse doesn't want to increase a behaviour, in other words make a behaviour more likely in the future. So for example, uh, when we think about using the reins via the bit on the horse where he feels the pressure in his mouth, when we pull on the reins he finds that aversive, he doesn't want that, so when he gives a behaviour such as stopping, the good trainer, the good horse breaker as you might say, releases the pressure and so that makes the horse more likely in the future to repeat that stopping, slowing behaviour. And the same occurs for training the horse to go from leg pressure, uh, to turn and to yield. All of those basic things, stop and go and turn, are trained largely through negative reinforcement. What people don't realise that is even when, when you train this, it, it, not only does it shrink to very light pressures, but also any use of the reins and legs is going to be very small amounts of negative reinforcement. Negative remember doesn't mean bad, it just means removal. And so that's why we've uh, suggested that this term in the scientific literature needs to be changed to subtraction reinforcement. Because often the word negative, even in science, for example negative affective states, means bad. So we need to think of it more about removal or subtraction. It's the removal of something. So for example, when a horse uh, does bad behaviour, um, if it's head shy for example, behaviour we don't want, when we put our hand up towards his ears, he removes your hand by throwing his head up. When he bucks you off, he's removed you from his back. When he rears, your reins go loose and your legs slide off as well, and that removes that pressure. So the horse learns to do it. It's not because he's a bad horse, it's just because he's learned to do it because we rewarded it. So, so much bad behaviour is inadvertently rewarded by people through negative reinforcement.